always asking me, what about electric cars? Well, how about electric trucks? Trucks bring an awful lot of fuel and produce an awful lot of smog, especially in a big city like New York. A truck like this one from Smith Electric Vehicles, which is purely electrically driven, could actually displace a lot of that diesel fuel and a lot of that smog that's being produced. And if you're a business owner looking to save some money on gas and kind of flatten out your cost structure, a vehicle like this could be just the thing you need. When you go visit a customer, what's your pitch for selling something like this versus a diesel truck that's going to be a lot more familiar and that they're used to dealing with? Well, I think, you know, the, the biggest single thing that we do is we really do want to make sure they understand it's a business opportunity, right? Because this is a fraction of the cost to operate. So if you think about electric cost versus uh, like a diesel fuel, this costs about 80% less on a per mile basis to operate. So you've got tremendous operational savings. On top of that, you also get zero emissions. So if you look at corporations like Staples and others that we're working with that have a great sustainability goal, they're worried about being good corporate citizens, but also have to look at the bottom line, which we all do, um, we're able to give them both of this vehicle. Just run for me real quickly with some of the specifications on a truck like this. What's it, what's it cost and what, is it, what does it do and how does that compare as a package to buying a diesel truck? This typical truck, this is our standard platform, so it comes in three different wheelbases. So you can go from a very short wheelbase for a small box up to a very long one for a big bulk truck. Um, a number of different um, weight categories. So, but the, we spec them all again to the battery. Like this one right here has 80 kilowatt hours of storage on it and batteries that allow it to go 100 miles. So in that 100 mile range, that's through the work day. And when you come back at night and park, it takes about eight hours to completely recharge that battery and be ready for the next work day. Uh, but again, other than that, it's, it's a normal truck that operates the way a diesel would. And I assume it, it requires some sort of a charging point installation back at your fleet yard. So at the fleet lot, we need a plug, right? It is a 220, so okay. it's more like your, your dryer at home than it is your you know, a standard 110, but it is a 220 plug, but that's all we need. The actual charging technology is in, in, on board with the truck, so I simply run an extension cord, effectively, a pretty big one, but from here to that plug, and that's all I need. If you've ever rented a truck from U-Haul, you'll be pretty familiar with driving a truck like this, not so different. Steering wheel, gas brakes, the only real difference is the gear selector is a lot simpler. Just drive and reverse. There are no options even for any other lower gears because with an electric motor, we don't really need gears. You have full torque from zero miles an hour, so it just has one speed. And over here, this is for turning on the regenerative braking system. That's the system that recaptures the power whenever you brake the truck. And of course, you're going to want that on because that increases the range of the truck a lot by recapturing braking energy to charge the batteries.